Hello and welcome to this Dungeon Fog tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the new Room Templates option. When you have designed your map, as the Starfighter Freighter in this case, you might want to duplicate certain rooms. Now you could simply left click on the room and then press Ctrl D and duplicate the room. This would duplicate everything within that room and you would be able to continue to create your map. However, I'm going to delete this now. There are times when you may have created a room that you are particularly fond of and that you would want to use on multiple maps. In order to do that, we need to create a room template. To create a room template, we simply left click on the room and notice now we have some new options. We have clear room and we have create room template. The clear room will clear the room of everything that has been applied within the room. We don't want to do that. Rather, we want to create a room template. If I now create room template, it asks me to name the room. I'm going to call this uh, destroyed bridge. Under category, you can enter your own category or create categories as you so desire. I have already created a sci-fi category and under tags, I might put here bridge. I might put here battle damage and I am pressing enter after each of these entries. Now these tags are going to be searchable tags that I would use in my catalog of room templates to find a bridge, a battle damage, let's say starship. The more tags you add, the more searchable the room becomes. Now I create this room template and you'll see that a dungeon fog loads it into the room template section to access the room template that I've now created. I simply select the draw room tab and now my templates will start to populate in the add from template option. I simply left click on the destroyed bridge and now I can apply it to my map and notice it has copied across every single setting and option within that room template. Now if I were to create a new map and let me do that quickly and I go to my draw room tool, my template is still present and I can select that template and drop it onto the map. You can see I created this template at a very different scale to the scale on the map. The map, this present map is at 75 DPI. The room that I have created the template from is at 300 DPI, hence the scale difference. So bear that in mind when creating your room templates. You always want your maps to be in the same size that you intend on using those room templates in. By way of demonstration, I'm going to select the room, delete the room, change my staging size from 70 to 300. And now when I expand this out, let's say to 20 by 20 and apply, I can see that I have a large canvas here. And now when I go back to draw room and select my Starship Bridge, I can place it down and now it is in the scale in which the room template was created. This is very important to bear in mind. What the room template does not preserve, however, is the map color options that I had applied to my previous map. So whereas this room looks a lot darker in its original map, that is because the map color options have been applied. Here those options are not applied and so I would need to reapply them in order to achieve the exact same look of the previous map. So color grading, a powerful tool, does not transfer across. If you have created a room template erroneously and you want to get rid of it, you simply left click on the three dots and you can edit the details, that's the tags, the names, the categories, or you can delete the room. It's as simple as that. And that is how you use the new room template tool in Dungeon Fog.